Hey guys, I am back. And yes, you see a canvas. Um, I have taken everyone's advice and just set the mini albums on hold. And I'm kind of just doing whatever it is that I need to be doing right now. I have a lot on my plate. Not a lot, but for me it's a lot because I don't know how I'm going to get it all accomplished. So, I had 12 canvases to do. I had two done. And then Hubby decided to keep one, and we sold the other one. So I'm back down to, or I'm back up to, I should say, making 12 canvases. And I'm going to adjust my camera just a hair. Hopefully not too crazy-like. There we go. Now you can see the bottom of it. It's kind of weird because I've never had to actually use like the full length of my desk before. Um, but the vote seemed to be pretty, uh, pretty much equal that, you know, just make the, can the, the canvases. I'm so stuck on it. Um, make the albums that I need to make, turn them in and be done. And, uh, you know, just kind of do what I got to do for the holidays. I have a Christmas wreath that I need to get done. Not a Christmas wreath. A coffee filter. Okay, so hmm, how do I explain this? Long story short, I made uh, my own wedding bouquets. And I made them out of coffee filters. And I did, you know, the whole template and everything and all that stuff. Well, a buddy of mine, her mom saw it and wants me to make a small wreath that is made with the coffee filter flowers but can also fit in a suitcase because she wants, I guess her sister like redid her whole bathroom or something. And so now she wants a pretty little wreath to go in the bathroom. I don't know. Um, so I have to figure out how I'm going to do that. And because communication's key, I just found out the sister is here in town like now. So I have like a week and a half before she flies home to get this wreath done. So, I still have to do more research on, like, because my the flowers that I made, I mean, they were huge. You know, I made a bouquet. I made two dozen of them just for my bouquet alone. So I want to scale them down and work on them to where they're smaller because, I mean, the wreath is only that big. And this was the only wreath I could find. I was trying to find that little dome one. And I couldn't find it anywhere. Hobby Lobby, Michaels, jo oh no, wait, we didn't go to Joann's. But this was the only one I could find. And I've never, one, I've never made a wreath. Two, I've never worked with foam. Um, so I'm going to cross my fingers and wish myself luck and hope that this goes well because I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm going to figure that out throughout the week. Um, so <laughs> hopefully if I, you know, if there's time, I'll try to get clips of it in a video and because I've had some requests on my coffee filter flowers. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try to get that done. Right now, canvas time, baby. You guys ready? I hope that was a yes because I don't know what I'm doing. I do know two things. Number one, picture frame. Number two, I want lots of colors and randomness. That's what I got. So I kind of like the tilted picture frame. Doesn't help when my canvas is tilted. The tilted picture frame on a straight canvas, and I've been putting them like right about down here. So I kind of want to just keep an eye on where um, my picture frame is going because I don't want to stencil in this area where I'm going to have to lay a picture down. Now, I don't know if anyone can give me advice on this canvas because, number one, I don't know if they're pre gessoed. I'm trying to look at my wrap, and it just a super value value canvas pack by Artist Loft. I know I bought them at Michaels. I don't know if they're pre gessoed or not. I've done one painting it with gesso. I've done one without the gesso. I don't really know the difference. I know that gesso is supposed to help make it like stick down more, and I gessoed this. I know that for sure. Um, but when it comes to the canvas, gesso, no gesso, does it matter? I don't really know. So, first things first, I pulled out a few stencils that I like. I'm a big Tim Holtz fan. 
and I love just about everything he makes. I, I don't know if I want to do the Damask. And then I got these bad boys when we went to um, the Scrapbook Expo. And I think they are all oh, this way. So I got gears and I got... Okay, wait. This one's called... Yep. Nope. I thought it had a name on it. It's by Um Wow Studios. And I do not see a difference between the two, so it does not have a name. But anyways, that I don't I don't know if you guys can see that without the glare too too much. But it just kind of reminds me of like a page that's just torn to shreds. And I love that. And then of course gears. I love gears. I'm not very good with them. But I like the look of them. So Umwow Studio. I don't know if they have a .com. Oh, just kidding. From cover to cover .com. It would help if I looked at the bottom. Oh, and you guys can't see that. Stinker bugs. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyways, it's from cover to cover .com. I have looked everywhere for this stinking stencil. And I mean everywhere. and could not find it anywhere. Finally found it at the expo. I bought it. And it's just, it's that script stencil that everyone's been using. And I love this dang thing. Well, I can't say I love it because I haven't used it yet, but thinking about it. Then I got my bricks, and I love the crackle from uh, Prima. I think this is the only Prima I own, actually, which I'm starting to really, really get into their stuff. I didn't think I would, but I'm really liking it. And then, of course, they've got my huge dilute. Well, well, don't blind anybody now. Delusions, which I don't know if I want to use that one because I kind of like the Tim Holtz little guy. Which, yeah, as you can see, I made a big boo-boo. There's still yucky stuff all over it. I totally forgot to wash it. I lost it on my desk. Cannot be held responsible for that. I can be. But, you know, I'm just saying. So, I have some modeling paste. I have some coarse texture gel. Well, this glare is really bad. So I got those. And I bought these at Hobby Lobby. And I used my, I think they were 30, 40% off when I bought them. Something like that. I don't know. And then I'm going to grab some paper towel down here. And I'm just going to play. I'm just going to pick up a stencil, basically, and I'm just going to run with it. I really, really want to use this bad boy because I have looked for it for months and couldn't find it. Found something similar to it. Couldn't find the right one. So I don't know how well this is going to show up white on white on white, but I'm going to try zooming you guys in. I'm hope oh, wrong way. I'm hoping I don't make anyone dizzy or sick because I'm not, um, okay. Hopefully I've bounced you guys around enough. Sorry guys. I am a pro by no means at all. Zip, not a zero, totally not a pro. So I kind of want to do this for the person who doesn't know, who has no idea where to begin no idea what to do, because um, I've talked to a lot of people, you know, private messaging and things like that, about, you know, being nervous about your fix, first fix, wow, first mixed media canvas, and, you know, honestly, I thought people were just kidding when they said just play, no, seriously, just play, grab a stencil, grab some paste, and go for it, wherever you want to do it, See, and the thing for me, like, I don't even think about it. And I think that's what's the best part about doing a canvas, for me anyway, that's so relaxing. Because, you know, I'm doing my um, mini albums and everything's, like, strategically placed. And I need a pocket here. And, oh, man, I need this over here. And I forgot a tag. And with this, nope. Stick it down. Plaster it on. Move on. I'm going to have to grab some baby wipes. And lift. Bam. I don't know if you guys can see that. Kind of sort, well, wrong way. Kind of sort of see that. Love it. And I'm going to go up here with it. Ooh. See if I can get you guys to see what I'm seeing. And I'm going to actually angle it this way. I'm big on angles. I don't know why. I don't like things that are straight. Does that make sense to anybody else but me? Um, for certain things like, you know, with cards and layering and things like that, totally get it. You need the, well, you don't need it, but it just seems awkward if it's not straight. 
but canvases? No? Nope. Any which way you want to go about it, do it. Just do it. And I'm going to try. I don't know how this is going to work and nobody yell at me. Well, I mean, you can if you want to, but it's all learning experience for me. So I will take the screaming and shouting as not personal, but don't do that type deal. And I'm going to try to wipe off the stencil because I can't get up and clean it. Not the way I should anyway. Not right this second. I will, though. Because from what I understand, you don't want to leave any of this paste on there um, any longer than you have to. Because it dries up and it hardens and it's just a pain in the Tchaikovsky to try to clean it up afterwards. So I am just going to rub this down with a baby wipe, which seemed to have worked pretty well the last time I did it. Um, except for that one time I forgot because I'm terrible like that. I have such a bad memory. Oh, 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 don't get stuck. Don't get stuck now. Okay. I'm trying not to rub it too, too hard, but at the same time, I want to get the gunk out of the center there. That makes sense. Because, you know, it took me forever to find the stencil. I don't want to ruin it now. One time use, that would be horrible. So, all right. Looks like I got most of it off of there. So, I'll just clean that up. Bam. Presto. Not 100%, but... Okay. Quit fiddling with that. I can still feel the grit on it, which kind of concerns me. Um, and then, let's see. So, picture frame is going to go... Whoop, 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 just kidding. It's stuck on my baby wipes. Sorry, guys. It's going to go right about here. So it's just barely on top of that stencil, which is fine. I want something to go right here, definitely. And a little bit like, you know what? I think I'm going to use this bad boy. And I'm going to zoom you guys back out. You guys kind of basically saw what I was doing. And you kind of saw the, you know, stencil white on white on white. So we're just going to keep playing. Oh my goodness, these are really thick. I don't know if you guys can, can you guys see that? Compared to, like, see how floppy this one is? This one doesn't flop at all. Like, there's no, well, I mean, of course it does if I shake it hard enough. But this one just, like, you know, if a fan were to blow on it, it just goes. Whereas this one's got, like, a lot more sturdiness to it, it feels like. I think I got baby wipes stuck on that one. Okay. So, this guy, I'm going to take and go, hmm. Kind of like, oh, this section here. And you know, I got the um, squeeze tubes and I wasn't thinking about it when I bought it. But I kind of wish I didn't because if there's any waste on my, this thingy, what are these called? Spatulas? Is that what they are? I hope that's what they are. Um... I can't just scrape it back into the container, you know what I mean? So I don't want to waste anything, but at the same time, I don't want to use not, you know, I want to make sure that I use enough. And of course I got a whole bunch on the side because I'm really good at doing that. And I'm going to stick some right about here. So anyways, so memo to sell the next time I buy some, which I think it's going to take me a while to get, you know, through all what I have now. I'm just going to do the whole thing. Because I really like this one. I can't wait till you guys see the colors that, um, once I spray them with colors, obviously you guys will see it more, the texture and everything. So I can't wait till you guys see the texture on this bad boy because this thing is so neat. And I really wish they named them because I want to know what it's called. Anywho, um, yeah, lost my train of thought. Oh man. Cannot wait till you guys see the texture on this guy. That's so cool. It's so... It's kind of weird because when I look at it, they look like little birds. I know, you guys are probably looking at me like I'm weird. That's okay. Well, not looking at me, but, you know, laughing at me, thinking I'm strange. It's fine. Anywho, so I hope everybody had a crafty week. And um, as you guys can see, I've got my mojo back and then some. I whipped out the album that you and I were working on. All of you and I were working on. 
that one got done, the one after that one got done, and I'm halfway done with another one. So that leaves me with one and a half albums that have to be done by next week or so and mailed off to her. And then I don't know what she wants me to do with the rest of them, but it is what it is. She said to take my time and send them when I can, so that's what I'll do because finances are kind of tight. And it is what it is. Speaking of finances, so a buddy of mine, her daughter is uh, in college, and they really like those sachet scarves. Or is that what they're called? Sachet scarves? So I made, I can't even tell you how many this week alone. Probably about 30 of them. I wish I was kidding, but I'm not. And she's like, I'll take them with me. I want to take them to school. And I'm like, okay. I got a couple of buddies who want to buy them. Perfect. It's coming up on Christmas time. And any extra pennies I can get, I'm good with. So that's what's going on over here. And then I wish I could update you guys on the whole Brianna thing, but I can't yet because school hasn't come back from our little winter break. So I want that to air dry. Um going to deal with that on Monday with the whole crazy stalker thing because that's just nuts. That's going to sit over there and try. And I want something here. Do I want to do the lattice? Yep, not even going to think about it. Just going to do it. First one I picked up, that's what I'm doing. Fine by me. And I'm going to go right here with it, I think. Possibly. That's where I'm aiming, so that's where I'm going. Okay. So anyways, um, yeah, I really wish I could give you guys an update on the whole Brianna situation. Hopefully that will, I don't think it'll get resolved by Monday, but hopefully we'll get answers by Monday. I need to turn this towards me. Because my little arms can't reach that far. And, um, because I don't, I don't know what else to do about this whole situation other than get the police involved and you know I don't I don't want to press any charges or anything but at the same time I need, these kids need to get scared straight because something really bad can happen as they get older if you know we don't fix it now but other than that everyone's doing good my girls went to uh, grandma and grandpa took the girls for the weekend so it was just me and my two little ones for yesterday and today. Oh, I got a glob there. And uh, it's kind of quiet without them, kind of weird, because I'm not used to being without them. They went to the state fair. Apparently there's a really good state fair out here in Arizona, which I didn't even know of, because I don't even think we have state fairs in Las Vegas. Um, if it doesn't have to do with gambling, it usually doesn't happen in Vegas. So, you know. Um... Let's see, what else has been going on? Anything else? It's been really quiet this week, actually. There was no school, so. And I have to apologize to Becky because my husband and I failed to communicate about the mail. Because usually when I walk, you know, the kids, when I pick up the kids from school, I'll check the mail on the way home. And there was no school this week, so I didn't check the mail because I figured hubby would check the mail on the way home. And hubby thought I was still checking the mail. And I wasn't. Whoops. So, yeah. We had a very nice full mailbox on Thursday when we realized nobody had picked up the mail in almost a week. And, oh my goodness, I love the texture on that one. I have no idea how I'm going to clean that. I will figure that out. Now, I know a lot of people say, you know, texturize your, your sides and things like that. And I try... But I don't know if I'm just kind of dit to dit and I can't figure out how to hold the canvas to where I can do that. Does that make sense? <laughs> I'm, I'm special, guys. And I'm new. And I'm still trying to figure it all out. And I'm just going to add a couple of these dots because it looks naked up here. Just because I can. Totally just hit myself in the face with dry. This is not good dry um, paste. I don't know if it's coming off my stencil or if it's coming off my um, ooh, off my blade. Either way, not good. 
just pop myself in the mouth with that out. It kind of was gross. Anyways. So yeah, that's all that's been going on in the front over here. Um, Jason works for uh, Walgreens. It's actually how we met. And we just celebrated eight years on the 9th, which apparently a lot of people celebrated on the 9th. Miss Carol from uh, One Happy Crafty Chick, it was her birthday. And Jared all and Johnny, it was their 10-year anniversary from when they started dating. So October 9th was a very, very good day. And um, anywho, I brought that up because... My hubby has been bringing home displays, and this little corner down here is going to look naked if I don't do something with it. Um, he's been bringing home, like, you know, displays and stuff that they don't need at work anymore. So I have, like, a little rack that holds all my sachet knitted scarves, and um, I have a little, it was a gift card rack, so that holds, like, my little sticker embellishments, and so it's actually really cool. I'm not too too close to getting a craft room tour and I'm sorry because I know I keep talking about it but I really want to do one and um, I'm thinking I'm just gonna have to break down and you know it's not the fact that my room is a disaster because it's not nearly as bad as it used to be which is great it's the fact that I'm scared to hand hold the webcam <laughs> and make people sick because I don't want to do that to people that's what I think freaks me out more than anything. So I'm going to set this over here for just a second. And I'm going to grab another paper towel. And baby wipe the crud out of these guys because I don't want to ruin them. Not that I think baby wiping them is saving them, but it's got to be better than just leaving all that crust on there. I imagine. I could be wrong, and if I am, somebody please tell me because I can't fix it if I don't know. Yeah, this is already starting to harden on there. Don't do it. Now this stuff is not meant to be played with. It hardens up quick. Need some arm muscles. So does anybody know a trick if you, you know, like me, are a ditz and completely forget that you didn't clean your stencil? Is there like a trick to getting that stuff off ever? Could I like leave it and warm water or something, let it soak overnight. I don't want to ruin them, but you know, I I get so caught up in what I'm doing that I forget that, hey, you got, you got to clean as you go, lady. I'm used to doing all my cleanup when I'm done, but by then it's too late, you know, the stencils are damaged. So I don't want to, oh, I just bent that crud Ola. Don't do that. So I'm hoping that if I can just soak it in hot water for a little bit, maybe just a couple of minutes or something, it'll break all that stuff up. Yeah, I let this sit for too long. Snikes. Well, live and learn. Well, obviously I didn't learn because I did it to the last one too. But man, I only let this sit here for a few seconds. You guys were sitting here with me. Bummer rooskies. Okay, I'm going to have to clean that off with hot soap and water or something. Let me get this bad boy. I think I actually used the stencil backwards on accident. I don't know if it really matters which way you use the stencil. Yeah, that one hardened too. Okay, well, I'm going to try the hot water trick tonight, and I'll let you guys know whether or not it worked. Bummer. Okay, well, it is what it is. They'll still work. Maybe not as perfectly as they did the first time I used them, but... It'll still work. Okay, so now let me close that bad boy up before I dry that whole tube out and I'm completely SOL because I would do that. Okay, so there's all that. And does this one have a name? Dot beta. Okay, I'm gonna put these in here anyway just so I don't lose them or spray on them or screw them up or something because. I, for some reason, can totally see me doing that, but I'm going to set these in a separate stack just so I know these need a really good washing. No, 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 don't get stuck, don't get stuck. Okay. 
So, set that there. Put all my stuff away like a good little girl because, you know, I just want to craft a craft. I don't want to have to clean anything up. I want somebody to come up behind me and go, oh, I'll get that for you. I need, like, I need an Alfred. You know, from Batman, which is crazy because I'm not a real big... I like Batman, but I'm more of a Superman fan, so... Um, but I'm stuck on... I don't know if anybody watches, like, certain TV shows, but I'm stuck on the new Gotham um, series that they're coming out with. I'm kind of stuck on that right now. Even though I'm not a big... You know, I'm Superman till the end, but... I am liking how they did the Gotham. Okay, so here's my canvas. Here's this bad boy, and it's going to touch a few of my stencils, which is fine. And I don't know if you guys can see all the crazy whoop, texturing that I've done. And, oh, wait, no, whoop, this way, this way. I forgot what side I was on. And then just a tad down, oh, wrong way over here. I have to remember that when I'm videotaping, it's a backwards image. So then this guy is going to go something like that. Okay. And I'm probably going to do a picture, the, probably going to do the picture frame in a video by itself because yes, it takes me that much time to do one little itty bitty picture frame. So what do I want to do now? Hmm. I gotta think of what kind of colors I want. And to be honest, I usually just kinda don't don't freak out. I usually just grab and go. I don't I don't really think about it. And I've tried making my own whoop, my own glimmer mists. And I don't think it worked out as well as I'd hoped. Man, these Heidi swaps are really hard to shake up. So I'm using the Heidi Swap Chartreuse. I think is what it's how you pronounce that. I'm really, I'm really bad at pronouncing names. I'm really good at brutalizing them. So I'm gonna actually need to get my heat tool out so I don't forget to heat as I go because I did that. And that was a fun mess that I got myself into. And I'm just gonna spray here and there. And I need to stick that off to the side. And you know what? I actually need to turn off my not turn it off, but lower my ceiling fan because it gets kind of, my sprays go this way and on me instead of on the canvas where it belongs. And, ooh, do do. No, oh, there's the ball. <laughs> this one is the Heidi Swap Coral. Nope, nope, maybe that one. I'm just going to. Just a little bit. I have no idea what colors I want to do. Um, actually, no, I'm lying. I just thought of that. Um, this one is going to be... You see that? Fingers crossed. Yeah, I just went fifth grade on you guys. Um, fingers crossed that this one is actually going to make it to Jason's uh, stepmom. And apparently, I'm going to add just a hair more green because I kind of took it away. Um, apparently her room is done in light pink and green. I'm going to turn this on. Hopefully you guys will still be able to hear me. Um, pink and green. So now that I've got that in my head, because it's just kind of funny that I picked out a coral and a green, and that's what actually reminded me that, hey, by the way, Because, okay, I have the job of making the canvases, and Hubby had one job, and that was to ask his family members what their favorite colors were. He has not done that yet. So, I'm kind of just going on the fly, and um, fingers crossed that they'll like what I make, because I don't know what anyone's favorite colors are. But his, uh, his sister came over last week, I think it was, somewhere in there. And um, I was like, hey, since you're here, what are your mother's favorite colors? Oh, well, 
or no, I showed her the canvas that I made. Sorry, let me get my story straight here. Um, showed her the canvas that I made, and um, she was like, oh yeah, my mom would love that, but her bedroom is done in pink and green. That's what it is. Bedroom is done in pink and green, and that would match her bedroom perfectly. And I went, perfect, I'm on it. So that's what I'm going to do now, that I've got it set in my head, pink and green. <clears throat> Excuse me. Get a sip of coffee. Oh, and you guys might hear Scarlet come in. Um, because we just did our video for um Miss Becky's stuff. Because Miss Becky was so sweet and sent a uh, Happy Meal package to Scarlet. And she's out there eating her little candy bar right now as we speak. So. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. So I use the Lindy Stamp Gang Cotton Candy Pink. And I'm going to dry that off real quick. There is one thing that I've learned. Um... If I get too close to the canvas, it pulls the color instead of sets the color. So, I don't know if there is a better way of doing this. I'm sure there is. I'm sure there's a million ways of doing it better than what I'm doing. Um, I kind of go up really high. I don't know if you guys can see like where my gun is at, but it's actually a really high distance from my canvas. And then I slowly come in as I see the color starting to set instead of spread. Because I don't want to lose my color. And I've noticed that, especially with the Lindy's, um, if I get too close, it just kind of splatters, which is cool if that's the effect you're going for. But um, that's not what I'm doing on these canvases. So I want to make sure that I'm high up and then I come back, you know, in to set it. See if I have a green one. Got plenty of blues and plenty of pinks. Oh, and I have this because it was in my little box and I just saw it. And I was, you know, going to use it for texture. Here's my problem. Mine will not spray. And I've never used it before. I bought it on clearance. I don't remember where. And I honestly can't tell you when now that I'm sitting here thinking about it. And I never opened it until I was like, oh, look, canvas, I can make bumps. And I went to spray it, and I got nothing. I don't I don't know how to fix that. I don't know if I should just look for another one of these, like the top pusher piece, whatever that's called, and just say the heck with it and try that. Let me see if this green. Hmm. I have a smooch green. I could have sworn I had a Lindy's green. I could be wrong. I usually am. Oh, no, wait. I do have one. Ha-ha. Mad Hatter Mint. Oh, if only I could read, much less read in cursive. I believe that's Mad Hatter Mint. Nope, wrong way. This way. So I'm going to try a little bit of that. I don't want to take too much away from that pink, though. I don't like how it splatters. Oop. Good for me. Good for me. Okay. So I'm not going to do only like pink and green because I don't know how to do that. Plus I don't know like, because there's so many shades of every color. I don't know if these are the right greens. I don't know if this is the right pink. You know what I mean? I've never been in a room. I'm just going to make it and cross my fingers and hope she likes it. 
And if she doesn't, too bad. <laughs> Can't be mean to give you a gift back. This doesn't work that way. That a little bit. So that's kind of a like a moss green kind of. Kind of like that. Hmm. So this is what I did on my other canvases. I kind of just hit it with paint and or spray and just kept going around and around and around until I ended up with all these different colors on my, what is that? I don't know what color that is. That looks too red for me. Is that a pink in the switch? I don't know. Let me see if I thought I did. Oh, I see it. I see it. It's down there. I got it. Is that pink? Okay, see, this is not... Can you guys see how, like, shimmery and light that is? And then how dark that is? I don't... Oh, well, I'm going for it. Yeah, that's red. Oh, crud. Oh, well. <laughs> so, my best advice for those who say they want to but don't want to because they're nervous, just do it. Just go for it. Because I was scared out of my mind when I decided to make mine. And, you know, it is what it is. And you're either going to realize that you absolutely love making canvases, which is what I figured out. Or you're going to realize that you don't like them at all. And that's okay. Canvases aren't for everybody. It's all good. I like this color. This is... Cape Cod Coral. So, okay, I lied. I was originally just going to go pink and green. It looked too plain to me, so now I'm just going to play. Because that's the best part, right? Is just playing. I feel like this is too plain. And then usually, like, I'll go through on my sides and I'll paint them. Or I'll do uh, water on the sides and let the colors run. I think I'm going to grab... I think I'm going to grab some Mr. This is the only Mr. Huey's I own, and it's the silver. I just want to add. Huh? Yep, good enough for me. Okay, and I'm going to dry those two colors. And the thing I like about the Mr. Huey's is that it, it comes out like, whoa, that was way darker than I expected. But when I dry it, it seems to kind of lift up a little bit, and it's not as dark as I thought it was. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense to somebody. Oh, I'm just so excited to be doing canvases. I'm hoping that I'll get that other album done within this week, and then just be done, done, done. So you guys don't have to hear me talk about it anymore. And, you know, maybe once a month or something, I'll update you guys on them, and we'll do one together, or not do one together, because that took way too long. It was like six, I think we did six videos, and of course, every video I did was like an hour long, because not exactly the fastest. You see how it's bubbling up and taking away the color? I'm okay with that, because that's where the picture is going to go anyway. But even if it wasn't going to go there, I like the dimension of it. That red smooch spritz is just a little too crazy for me. It doesn't seem to flow, which is fine. I'll make it work. This is one of mine. And we're going to... Whoa, whoa, what is that? Okay, that didn't work out as well as planned. Well, I'm just going to keep spraying anyway. And I'll just let this guy do its thing. Yeah. yeah, that sprayer is horrible. Don't use that one. I don't know what else I'm going to use, but that's all right. Oh, geez, now it's spraying out two ways. Awesome. So I tried to clean it, and I totally just sprayed myself and my entire desk. Mm-hmm. Okay, now I'm down to one spray. I don't like the way that's spraying, though. And then... I 
Oh, hello. Can't really spray it if the lid's on. Don't do that. It doesn't work very well. I'm trying to cover up that green because it's just a hair too dark for me. I actually really like this yellow. I did good on this one. Yay me. Okay, so I was trying to experiment with how to make my own colors. And, whoo, that stinks. Anyways, um, I found out if you take, you know, rubbing alcohol and some acrylic paint, you make sprays. And it's just because I don't have any flat colors. It seems like everything I have is very shimmery and very shiny, which is great. But sometimes I just want a flat color. And so I tried and I made a few and I tested them and I didn't really like them on the flat white thing I was doing, which is okay. It was one of these guys and it just looked blah. But now that I have it on a canvas, I'm like, hey, that's pretty cool. I want to make more. And I went to the dollar store and I got the, well, actually, this one I got from the expo. These guys I got from the dollar store. The only thing that sucks is that, like, you get one of these and two of these. Whoops. So that was kind of a, eh, well, oh, all right. I should have, yeah, I don't want to use, I don't want to use brown. I have a red, but I don't like this red either. I didn't want too happy with how that came out. But I really like the yellow. I'm happy with that one. And I want to three, one, two. Okay. So let me shut this guy off while I try to concentrate for a second because I can't hear myself think with this thing on. So totally just sprayed my desk and my arm. I really need to get, um, I have an apron. I just don't know where it's at. I have my hair cutting apron. But I don't need that one. I need something for when I am crafting because... I apparently get a little crazy with it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Color are you? This looks like another pretty pink. Cause like, oh. Okay, does anybody else have that problem when you shake your bottle? I know I get a little crazy with it, but it like spritz out of my nozzle. I don't I try to shake it softly and then it doesn't shake and anywho. So I think I'm going to leave that right there because that was a lot. Yep, I'm going to leave that one right there. It was way more than I was expecting to come out. And I'm going to use some of this guy, which is the... Oh, I didn't even tell you what color that was. Sorry. Ramble and Rose Pink. And now I'm going to use Gag Me with a Spoon Gray. I'm so afraid to shake them like this, like this one, because they... they come out. But at the same time, it seems like if I don't do that, it doesn't mix. Oops, hello. Okay, done with that one. And like I said, guys, I literally just, I pull out a whole bunch of random colors. This is down the rabbit hole, which is another type of silver. Please don't spray out. And I just play until I go, yep, I'm done. I will literally pull out every color I own. None of it will match, and that's okay. I don't want navy. Oh, you know what? I might want a little bit of white. White would be good. So while I'm waiting for the ball to move on that, I'm going to dry this guy off. Maybe the ball will ever move. It really stinks being right-handed and only having one right hand, because I need to do two jobs here. And my left hand is kind of special. I don't, I don't know how to work with it. So I figure I wanted to get this canvas done. I have my, um, my next door neighbor who's actually pretty crafty by herself. She's awesome. And, um, she wants to, she makes like wreaths and flower arrangements and, uh, crafty little baskets and things like that. That's, that's like, her thing, according to her, but she wants to learn how to do this. So I'm like, well, um, 
They're not really the best of teachers, but I oh well that's a bummer. Is this not gonna work? Oh goodness. Something is very wrong here. Oh. Okay, that sprayer doesn't work either. Wow. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> that does not taste very good. Don't do that. I don't know what I did, but I got it to work. That was horrible. Don't do that. Mmm. Yeah. Another sip of coffee, maybe? Hmm. Wow. Okay. So I just sprayed white on it to kind of lighten it back up. Not that I know if that really works or not, but I like the effect of the white because it's almost like a gesso, but it's not gesso. I guess is the only way to explain it. I'm very, very excited to say that I've seen Amy Mabel come out with a lot of videos lately. She's getting ready to do a craft fair. So I've been having a lot of fun watching her videos because I've never done a craft fair. I've been very curious about them. And um, I know a lot of the ones that they're doing right now are all like uh, donation type, raising money for this and raising money for that. And, um. Not that I don't want to do those, don't get me wrong. I have no, no issues at all with donating to charity. I just want more time. Because some of these are like, oh yeah, we're two weeks away, bring everything you got. I'm going, I got scarves. That's all I have. I don't have any time to make mini albums. I don't have any time to make pretty much anything. Because right now I'm stuck with so many deadlines that are so close together right now that there's no way I could participate. And, um... Not that I want to do, I mean, hello, that's a fly, get out of here. No, really? wait, nobody invited you to the party. Um, not that I would not want to do one that is um, chari charity oriented, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Uh, but I also want to find the craft fairs where, you know, I can make a little bit of money too. So I want to do both. So that's another goal that I have for next year is I'm going to add a little bit of purple because this just looks too blah to me. Um, I want to do it. I want to do all of it. Oh, I kind of like the way that's... I'm a little concerned that it's splattering that way, but I kind of like it, you know, for this purpose. It's kind of cool. Kind of like it. Oh, and of course it's going to full-blown spray when I don't want it to. Just kidding. I'll leave that alone. Okay. Because I don't want to do, I want to do something here. Not too, too much here. Because I got to keep in mind that there's a photo going there. So I don't want to waste too much product right here in this area. Which is the reason why I'm focusing more on here and the corner. But anyways. Um, so yeah, my neighbor's been really awesome. And she's been trying to help me find craft fairs that I can earn a little money before the holidays. And which I'm totally okay with. I just, I don't, like I said, I just feel like I don't have enough time. So that is definitely something I want to look into next year. Excuse you, rude. I have a fly attacking my canvas. Apparently he really likes it. Speaking of attacks, apparently they have decided to spray mosquito repellent over the state of Arizona because the mosquitoes are so bad this year, which would explain a lot. Um, because, I mean, my entire family is just getting bit, no matter what. It used to be when we went to his Uncle Mark's house because they have huge water fountains that everybody would get a thousand bug bites or more. And now it's like no matter where we go, we're getting bit everywhere. My poor husband has like 20 bug bites just around his ankles. And they're just, oh. 
it freaks me out because I worry about the diseases that they might pass. And um, I guess some people out here have been getting sick because of them. And, okay, this fly is going to make me mad. I'm going to have to pull a Mr. Miyagi here in a minute and grab my chopsticks because he was not invited to the party. Okay, so I'm kind of liking that. And then, because I'm crazy, I'm going to grab, maybe, I have, kind of, sort of, an almost black. Now, my sprayer on this doesn't work, but I knew that. And I'm okay with that, because I don't use it for that anyway. I use it for this. Now, when I first heard that people did this, I thought y'all were nuts. Not to be mean, but it's true. But now that I've seen it in person, I'm obsessed. Like, I don't know how not to do this to every canvas that I have. I do it to my canvas. I do it to the picture frame. Just awesome. Absolutely awesome. Love it. So I have that. And then I have, oh my goodness, 51 minutes, people. Shoe fly. I'm working. And then I do the white. Why? I don't know. Sounds good. So I'm going to dry this bad boy off, show you guys what I've come up with. Don't look at it like, ew, I'm not done yet. <laughs> I promise you, I'm not done yet. Because I know when I first started doing these, I was like, yeah, this does not look good. This looks terrible, actually. It looks so weird. It's okay that it looks weird. It's mixed media. It's supposed to. That's the way I look at it. The beautiful thing about mixed media is that nothing is perfect and it all is at the same time. I don't know if that statement makes sense, but it makes sense to me upstairs where I can look at my canvas and go, yeah, this looks terrible. And yet it looks beautiful at the same time. And I think that's the whole point of mixed media, really, is it's whatever you throw on whatever it is that you're making. Because mixed media can be done anywhere. Something as big as a canvas to something as small as an ATC. Mixed media is done everywhere. And I love that about mixed media. I think it's honestly why I'm so on it. And you know what? I'm going to do one more thing before I go. Only because I want to see how it's going to come out. So when we went up to Joanne's the last time and I did like a little mini haul, I got some of, if I can grab them, the Inca Gold, the Viva, Viva Inca Gold, I can't say that. Such simple words and I can't put them together. It's like a tongue twister for me. I don't know why, but I got these colors. I got, whoop. Oh, my computer's lagging. Sorry about that. I got the green, the blue, and the purple. And so, because I love the script section so much, I'm just going to, ever so lightly, drag my finger across where I've done the stenciling. I've seen people use, like, paper towels. I've seen people use, like, Q-tips. I'm doing mixed media to get my hands dirty. So, I'm getting them dirty. I'm using my fingers, and I'm just going for it. I don't know how much I'm putting on my finger. I don't know where it's going. I don't really care. I just want to play. So now, now I do have a question about this because I keep hearing people say that once you put it on, you're supposed to buff it out. What does that mean? I don't know if anyone can answer that question for me because I don't get it. I tried like taking a paper towel and going over it, but it just rips my paper towel to shreds. So I'm assuming that's not what people meant because I'm not, I'm not following you. Call me special. Call me strange. It's okay. I'm not getting it. So I'm literally just mixing all three colors together. Don't worry. I've got three different fingers, but I'm just globbing it on my finger and smearing it. Now, I'm not trying to push too hard, because I just want it on what's raised. I just want it on the raised areas. I'm going to add just a hair of silver in there, just because I can. And 
And I'm just doing like a circular motion because I don't want to go flat onto it. Why? I don't know. Sounds good. Seems like the reasonable thing to do, right? No? I don't know. And it's so funny because I keep hearing people say, oh, it smells so weird. I like the smell. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not sitting here sniffing it and putting it up to my nose or anything. But I like the smell. I think it smells, I don't think it smells like delicious. I wouldn't eat it. But it doesn't bother me. I like it. I know, I'm strange. It's okay. You can say it. I hear you already. Weird one. It's all right. I'm getting some of it onto my canvas. I'm not going to freak out. It's okay. I just want to know what they mean by buff it out. Oops. Because that part's the part that I don't get. Like I said, I tried with a paper towel. I tried with a rag. It just kept, it either kept getting ripped up, like my paper towel got ripped up and my towel got snagged. And it ripped some of my texture off and I don't want to do that. So, I'm doing something wrong because I don't, and there's no like instructions on what you're supposed to do. So, you know, I'll ask my crafty peeps. You guys know what to do. You guys will lead me in the right direction. Maybe. <laughs> right, this little fly is making me mad. I'm about to Mr. Miyagi you, and you're going to be very upset when I do. Go away. I'm trying to get... Dude, hey, not invited. I hate flies. Goodness gracious. My grandfather always tried to, you know, raise his kids. Every insect has a purpose in life. You know what? Your purpose in life is to go sit on poop. Not me. Go away. <laughs> Just go away. Adding a little more blue because I have a ton down there and not enough up here. There's my green. I kind of like that there. So, yeah. Grab a canvas. For those of you who said, eh, I want to, but I don't know. Just do it. Grab a canvas and just play. Don't think. I realize that that's my biggest problem when I'm crafting. I think. Don't do that. This has been the most relaxing and mind-freeing thing I've ever done since I've been a crafter, which hasn't been long. But to not have to strategically figure... I mean, obviously... I strategically figured that my, this bad boy is going to go here. That's it. That's all I did. That's all the strategy I put into this canvas. That's it. Everything else is so random, just like me, that I love these things. I have fallen in love with canvases. And if I could do them all day, I probably would. These, I could do 30 of. And here's my reason why. Because no matter how many um, canvases I do, no matter how hard I try, no two will ever look the same. And I totally just put that on the wrong one. Just kidding. No two will ever look the same. Impossible. Can't be done. I mean, unless you're like a machine and you just bam, bam, you know, zip it through. How come this one doesn't have a color? Interesting. Anyways. So, I'm going to clean up my hot mess, because as you can see, all my sprays are out, because that's what I do. I literally just grab sprays, and I just go, and I pick them all back up, and I put them in my little bucket over here that says sprays on it, and that's what I do. So, and there's so many ways to do it. This is not, this is not the correct way. It's not the only way. There are so many millions of ways. The It's literally unlimited on what you can do with a blank canvas. And I get it now because I've always heard that phrase, you know, your life is a blank canvas, make it what you want. And I never understood really what that meant. I mean, I understood it, but not to the extent of what I understand it now. Because it's a blank canvas. I can make it anything I want. I can rip paper and put it on there. I can Mod Podge stuff on there. I can do anything. Anything I want to it, and it's going to let me do it. 
it may not always work and it may not always look perfect or you know come out to the way you wanted it to but it's still a piece of art and it's still something that you have made and if there's one thing that I've learned it's you've got to do what makes you happy so you know I'm sitting here freaking out and oh my gosh what if everybody hates it nobody likes it it's gonna happen I'm, I'm gonna come across a project and I'm gonna get comments whether it's on YouTube or friends or family or somewhere you know you know just don't like that one okay that's cool you know I'm I'm glad that I have the, the group of friends that I have I'm really glad that I have they're very honest and they're very forthcoming and they're very they're not scared to tell me what they think which I love that about them which is the reason why they're my friends and a lot of you guys are like that with me and it's so greatly appreciated and you know I appreciate the comments and the taking the time to answer my questions because I am new and I don't know what I'm doing and you know just hanging out with me so this is what we've done so far kind of give you guys a pan if I can see all that glimmer and shimmer and the splotches and that's where we're at like I said before you look at it and go uh, oh I promise that it'll get better and the only reason why I can say that is because I thought the exact same thing when I did my very first canvas I looked at it and went this looks like a blob of mud <laughs> this does not look cute at all picture frame going there canvas is here and that's where we're at for today so I think I'm gonna let this sit overnight because it when I put a lot of sprays on it even though I heat dried it it's still really tacky so I'm gonna let this sit overnight before I make another video and keep playing because hubby is off Monday and Tuesday so I have a feeling that I'm just gonna keep plowing along because I don't have to wake up early so then I'm gonna paint my sides because see that's not cute white pretty colors white not cute so we're gonna keep going with that I hope you guys have a wonderful and crafty crafty week if I don't see you before then and um, yeah thanks as always for hanging out with me see you guys soon bye